Hey, what's up guys? Benny here and welcome to another Call of Duty Warzone Season 4 video. Now, one of the most important things in Warzone is making sure that you've got the best weapon class setups and loadouts in the game, which can be quite tricky to do as the meta is always changing, especially with the introduction of new weapons like we had with the Fennec and CR-56 AMAX in Season 4. So for that exact reason, this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 best loadouts to use in Call of Duty Warzone to help you pick up more kills and wins. These loadouts will help you be prepared for any situation that you're going to come across. And I'd love to hear your favorite loadout down in the comments below. Also, before we get into the first loadout, 81% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel. So let's try and get that below 80% and I promise you, you'll get better at Warzone. So my first loadout includes what for the time being is still the best assault rifle in Warzone and that's the Growl. It's just hard to compete with a gun that can drop enemies so quickly at a distance along with being so easy to use because there is just no recoil and you can just laser an opponent. Snipers even struggle against the Growl at long range. It's crazy. But this Growl is pretty much the meta build. You'll want to have the Molifix Suppressor for weapon suppression along with increased damage range. Then the best barrel is the Archangel Barrel, which gives you increased damage range once again, as well as increased bullet velocity and recoil control. Then you want to have the Tac Laser, which is going to increase your aim down sight speed, aiming stability and aim walking steadiness, all contributing to making this gun even more of a laser than it already is. Then you want to have the Commando Foregrip as it's the best grip that doesn't slow down your aim down sight speed. And then finally, you want to be using the 50 round mag if you're playing in solos, duos or trios. And then I use the 60 round mag if I'm playing in quads because you've got more enemies to shoot at. Also, a little tip is make sure that once you've built your gun to save them as a custom mod so you can quickly add them to a loadout in the future if you're changing things around. Then for your secondary weapon, you want to be using the brand new Fennec or Vector. On the Vector itself, you want to be using the ZLR 18 inch Deadfall Barrel, which is a beast of an attachment, increasing damage range, recoil control, bullet velocity, as well as giving you that sound suppression. Then you want to have the Merc foregrip for increased recoil control and hip fire accuracy, along with the 40 round drum mag as the default 25 is just not enough for Warzone. Then you want stippled grip tape, primarily for that increased sprint to fire speed, which is very, very important with an SMG. And then I have sleight of hand because the Vector's reload speed is terrible, which could end up costing you in modes like quads especially. Then for my perks, I use double time because it's so useful for pushing enemy teams and pulling off flanks. This is definitely a perk to use if you've got a more aggressive play style. Otherwise, I'd suggest using EOD if you like to play a little bit slower. Then you've of course got overkill and then amp so you can switch between your two weapons quickly. Then with this class, I use a C4, which is the meta lethal and then a heartbeat sensor. Honestly, this class is a great all rounder. Use the growl for anything from medium to long range and then switch to the Fennec for any fights inside of buildings or extreme close range. Honestly, I think it competes with the MP5 for that number one spot. Then the next loadout that I've been using a lot in season four is my CR-56 AMAX MP5 build. First of all, on the CR-56, you'll want to be using everyone's favorite monolithic suppressor attachment for that increased damage range and suppression. Then you want the XRK Zodiac Barrel, which increases damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control, which is key to this build, as the AMAX is a 7.62 assault rifle, so it's got a bit of a kick. Then I use the Commando Foregrip along with the 45 round mag, but the most important attachment for this weapon is the VLK 3x scope. And that's because it gives you increased aim assist, which makes the recoil a lot easier to control at a distance so that it can compete with the likes of the Growl. And it's just a really fun weapon to use if I'm being completely honest. Then on your MP5, you want to be using the Monolithic Integral Suppressor this gives you that sound suppression along with increased bullet velocity. You do not want to be using a monolithic suppressor on the MP5 anymore. The integral is just much better. Then you want the FTAC collapsible stock followed by the Merc foregrip for increased recoil control and hipfire accuracy. 
before having the 45 round mag and then finishing off the build with stippled grip tape for faster aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This is still quite possibly the best all round SMG in the entire game, though if I'm honest, the Fennec is very, very close. Then for perks, you want the same as the first loadout, double time, overkill and amped with a C4 and a heartbeat sensor. As you'll have probably noticed, my first two loadouts focus around the assault rifle SMG meta that is currently dominating Warzone, especially if you're going for high kill games. And these are two of the strongest combinations that you can have. Then my third loadout is my new gun loadout, which is honestly amazing and quite refreshing to use. You'll be using that CR-56 with the monolithic suppressor, Zodiac barrel, VLK 3x scope, Commando foregrip and 45 round mag. Then the Fennec with the Deadfall barrel, Merc foregrip, 40 round drum mag, stippled grip tape and sleight of hand. Remember, when using this weapon combination, make sure that you're using the AMAX for those medium to long range fights and quickly switch to the Fennec for close range fights only as it's terrible at a distance. Perks for my overkill class setups are once again the same with double time, overkill and amped with C4 and a heartbeat sensor. Then my fourth loadout is arguably Call of Duty Warzone's meta loadout. This is the one that you'll see most players running in tournaments as it's going to give you maximum weapon performance on a consistent basis and that's my Growl MP5 class. The Growl you want to be using is the one I showed you earlier with the Monolithic Suppressor, Archangel Barrel, Tac Laser, Commando Foregrip, and then a 50 round mag. Remember to use the 60 if you're playing in quads. Then the MP5 is the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, FTAC Collapsible Stock, Merc Foregrip, 45 round mag, and Stippled Grip Tape. Then that perk sets up again of Double Time, Overkill, and Amped. Honestly, if you're purely going for high kill games and wins, this is probably the build you want to be starting off with. There's just very few weaknesses to this loadout until the Growl gets nerfed at least. You can drop anyone at almost any distance of the Growl and then the MP5 is just a monster up close and also hits really, really hard. Now, this next loadout is an identical setup to the previous loadout but with one change, which I really want to touch on. And it could be perfect for any of you who are struggling a little bit with your aim at medium to long range. The MP5 is the same, so just copy that build into the loadout as your secondary weapon. But on the Growl, you want to remove the TAC laser and add the VLK 3x scope that I talked about earlier. Now, this works universally across any weapon in Call of Duty Warzone, but if you're using a controller especially, the VLK 3x, because of the enhanced optic, gives you what feels like increased aim assist, making it a lot easier to land your shots on your target as well as being able to manage that recoil far easier. Honestly, it's kind of ridiculous and surprising that this hasn't been talked more about. But if you're wondering why you've started noticing a lot more players using the VLK scope, that's exactly why. Give it a go and let me know what you think down in the comments. Then for perks, once again, double time, overkill and amped. Remember, if your playstyle is a little bit slower, don't worry about switching out double time for EOD as it can definitely save you in certain situations, especially towards end game. Then you'll want that C4 and heartbeat sensor. Then for my sixth loadout, I have what is arguably also one of the best assault rifles in Call of Duty Warzone, the M4A1. I used a breakup weapon variant, so I shoot pink bullets, which you'll have also probably seen people like Nick Merckx also using. But on the M4A1 itself, I used the Molifix Suppressor, of course, followed by the stock M16 Grenadier Barrel, which performs best at long range, giving increased damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Then I have that TAC Laser, which helps make the M4 aim down sights faster, as well as increasing its aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. Then I use the Ranger Foregrip over the Commando Foregrip. Now, the reason I do this is it gives you increased recoil control, which helps make the M4's recoil that little bit easier to manage, followed by the 50 round mag if you're playing in solos, duos or trios, and then the 60 if you're playing quads. Then as my secondary weapon, I'm using the Fennec with the Deadfall Barrel, the Merc Foregrip, 40 round drum mag, stippled grip tape, and sleight of hand. 
then perks are double time overkill amped and then c4 and a heartbeat sensor remember you can also swap the heartbeat for a stun grenade if you want to then my next loadout is something i love to use if i want to mix it up a little bit and that is my brian mk9 lmg loadout with an mp5 now the brian is definitely an underrated weapon and can actually be found as floor loot in season four with a few of them being pretty decent builds but on the MK9 itself, you'll want to have that Molophic Suppressor followed by the XRK Horizon 23-inch barrel. That extra mobility and movement speed you gain over the summit is worth having. Then you want the Tac Laser followed by the No Stock Attachment. Then finally, you also want to have the 60-round mag, which is the attachment that really transforms the Bruin into a beast. Something you can also do is swap out the TAC laser for the VLK scope to take advantage of that aim assist we talked about earlier once again. Then the MP5 is the same build we've used in the rest of the video. The Monolithic Integral Suppressor, FTAC Collapsible Stock, Merc Foregrip, 45 round mag, and then the Stippled Grip Tape, as well as Double Time, Overkill, and Amped for your perks with the C4 and Heartbeat Sensor. Next, we have my Assault Rifle Sniper class. You can use any Assault Rifle with this, but I personally use the M13 as I like to have a range of different weapons to use. And the M13 is honestly an incredible Assault Rifle that is underused just because of how dominant the Grau is. On the M13, you'll want to use the Monolithic Suppressor, followed by the Tempest Marksman Barrel with the Tac Laser, then you'll want the Commando Foregrip and then the 60 round mag. Because of the fire rate of the M13, which is the highest for the assault rifles, I'll always use the 60 round mag, whatever mode I'm playing, as you can go through ammo pretty quickly. Then on my HDR, this I honestly feel is the best sniper class setup in the game. You'll want the HDR with the Monolithic Suppressor, the 26.9 HDR Pro Barrel, TAC Laser, then the FTAC Stalker Scout Stock for that increased aim down sight speed, and then finally, the FMJ perk, which I've just started using recently in Season 4 because having the ability to snipe someone through an object to finish them off is ridiculously helpful and probably the perk you'd get the most use out of whilst playing Warzone. Then perks are EOD because with this build, I'm not going to run at opponents as much. So EOD will overall be more useful than double time. Then I've got overkill and amp so I can quickly switch between my assault rifle and sniper. But something to note is the HDR is the easiest sniper to use in the game with it being pretty much hit scan. So it can be used well by pretty much anyone. I then have a second sniper class, which is my Growl AX50 class. The Growl is the one we've seen throughout the video with the Monolithic Suppressor. Archangel Barrel, Tac Laser, Commando Foregrip, and 50 Round Mag. But I've started using the AX50 more recently because though it is harder to use because of bullet drop, because of its increased rate of fire, it does have the skill curve ability to be the better choice of sniper rifles as you can get more shots off. I actually started using this after I played with Vicstar and Barton, who is a ridiculous sniper, and it's a lot of fun to use. You'll want the Monolithic Suppressor, followed by the 32-inch factory barrel, then the TAC Laser, before adding the Singard Arms Assassin stock, and then, of course, that FMJ perk. Remember, when using this sniper, take advantage of that fast fire rate. Get shots off quickly, then dive back into cover. With this build, it's also got a really fast aim down sight time, so you can drop enemies pretty quickly. Just remember, at a distance, to aim slightly above the head to take into account the bullet drop you get on the AX50 compared to the HDR. Then my 10th and final loadout is my Ghost loadout. This is the class that I grab either in the final circle or as my second loadout to get my second perk. If you prefer using restock, you could change this for restock or change one of the sniper classes so you always have the options of a Ghost class and a restock class. But on the class itself, I use the Growl with the Monolithic Suppressor, the Archangel Barrel and the VLK 3x Scope the Commando Foregrip, and 50 Round Mag. Pretty much this changes to whatever gun I'm currently using the most, but will always be an Assault Rifle, as it's a bit more of an all-rounder. Then, as my secondary, I just have an RPG, as it's sadly probably the best non-primary weapon secondary to have in the game right now, but usually I'll drop this and pick an SMG straight back up if it's from the second loadout drop. Then for perks, I have Double Time, 
Ghost to stay off radar, and then Amped. You always want one of these classes to be able to grab quickly, which is why it's my 10th loadout. Also, because I'll usually grab loadout one from the first supply drop, and then this loadout from the second drop, which you can do really quickly with the controller. But there we have it, my 10 best loadouts for you to use in season four. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and share your own favorite setups. I'd honestly love to hear them.